Hey everyone, uh, today I want to do my May favorites and yay it's summertime because it's June and this is a little bit late but better late than never. Um, the first product I have to talk about is a nail polish and it is the Sally Hansen Diamond Strength No Chip Nail Color in the shade 420 Nude Shimmer. Now, I heard about this from one of my current favorite beauty gurus on YouTube, sorry, and um, that is Emily Noel 83 She is so informative, so great, and she is really good about giving dupes for expensive products, um, you know, more inexpensive um, versions or, you know, close, they're, they're a lot, <laughs> they're dupes. Um, for more expensive uh, cult favorite type products. So she's a wealth of information. I love this. It goes with everything. And it's just kind of nice for summer. So I'm really loving that. The next product is a hair product. And it is the Got To Be Fantastic Instant Collagen Infusion Mega Lift Root Boosting Spray. See if you can repeat that five times fast. And of course I'm on my MacBook. I'm one day gonna get a camera that's not backwards but anyways this stuff is fantastic if you like lift at the crown of your hair without having to back comb um, this is similar to you know using dry shampoo on your roots only I like this a little bit better for clean hair because I feel like um, dry shampoo kind of makes your hair dirty I know that sounds stupid but if you use it in clean hair it kind of makes it have kind of a dirty feeling um, so this is nice for right after you wash your hair um, and you don't want to like put a whole lot of product in it. It's great for lifting those roots. The next two favorites are both um, skincare or you know skin face wash type products. The first one I've probably mentioned before but it's the Aveeno Active Natural Skin Brightening Daily Scrub. It's an exfoliator. This stuff is fantastic. I can't say enough good things about this. It really kind of gives your skin a luminous uh, appearance. And it's just a really good, not really harsh exfoliator. So I love this stuff. The next one, everyone probably knows about. But um, this, I find, is great for keeping in the shower. And I like to wash my face as soon as I get in the shower. So I'll get in the shower. And even if I haven't removed my makeup, which I should have, I will use this on um, my face, and it's very good at removing makeup. Now, it doesn't really get that mascara off, so when I get out of the shower, sometimes I have to use, like, um, a makeup remover wipe to completely get all my eye makeup off. But it's, uh, wow, can I talk any more about this? It's the Cetaphil, or Cetaphil, however you want to pronounce it, Gentle Skin Cleanser for all skin types looks like this um, yeah this is really kind of a general simple um, generic type of thing so but it deserves more hype than it gets like it's just so gentle on your skin and I just love it the next thing is also a shower product and I have been absolutely loving this and I need a new one as you'll see here in a minute but it is the Caress Evenly Gorgeous Exfoliating Body Wash. Um, it smells so good. You'll have no idea. If you love vanilla, brown sugar, buttery smells, this is what you want. Um, it has really thick um, exfoliating sand crystal things in it so it's a very very good exfoliator um, I use this every time I shower um, you may not want to use it every time you shower because it is a bit harsh um, as I said but um, I love it. it smells good let's see yep it smells amazing you definitely want to try this out if you're in the market for a good exfoliator uh, the next few things, I'm lumping them together because um, one of them I've already talked about and they're all from the same place and they serve the same purpose. So it is a selection of Bath and Body Works body or fragrance mists and body lotion. Now this looks familiar because um, it was included in one of my favorites and it's the Sensual Amber Body Lotion. I love this stuff. I got the fragrance mist. 
they're fabulous. I can't say enough. Just a warm, woodsy, delicious smell. If you're into that kind of thing, then I think you'll probably like Sensual Amber. The next one is, um, this is Coconut Lime Breeze, and then this is Coconut Lime Verbena. This is really old, as you may be able to tell. There's not that much left in there. It looks like there's more than there actually is because it's covering the sides. But um, I am a sucker for this scent, especially during the summer. It smells delicious. It smells like you've been at the beach all day in a good way, and I love it. Um, so you can imagine how upset I was when I went into Bath & Body Works looking to replenish my stash, and I couldn't find that scent. But Coconut Lime Breeze is a close, you know, dupe, or it's very similar to it, and I love it. It's just so refreshing. Like I said, it's a perfect summertime scent. It's just fabulous. So if you like um, kind of citrusy smells, but that also have kind of a, well, the coconut kind of warms it up. So you know what I mean. It's very, it's just very beachy and summery. And if you're looking for something like that, definitely try these scents out. The next thing is another scent. And this is quickly becoming one of my all-time favorite scents, like, ever. <laughs> I got this for Christmas. Christmas? Either Christmas or my birthday, which was in August, which those are pretty far apart, but I can't remember. Judging by how much I have left, it was probably Christmas. But it is uh, Lola by Marc Jacobs. Love the bottle. Love the scent. Love everything about it. It's just such a unique scent. I can't think of anything else that really smells like this, and I really just love it. It's a very comforting scent to me. Um, my sister wore this before I did, so shout out to Kara. Thank you for getting this for Christmas that one year and letting me use it a lot because I absolutely adore this scent. The next thing is an eyeshadow palette that I've had for quite a while that I am reviving the use of. I used it today in addition to one of the other things I'm going to talk about. And um, it is the Coastal Scents 88 Warm Palette. Looks like this. Looks like this inside. It has a huge mirror in the bottom. Ooh! Yikes. Doesn't look like we did any damage. Well, maybe a little bit. Eww. It's a little dusty around here now. Anyways, um, it has a huge mirror on the bottom. Uh, as you can see, I have used a lot of this shade right here and this shade right here. This thing, uh, you can't go wrong with this. It's fabulous. I even like cool eyeshadows better than warm, but I still get a ton of use out of this thing. It was a great investment. I think it was $25. The shadows are creamy and rich, not chalky and thin. You need this palette because it is fantastic. That's all I'm going to say about it. Um, my next favorite, which I believe is number nine, is my Nook Color, which Justin got me a couple weeks ago. Oh, you can see my little reflection. Um, anyways, I love this thing, and I love my case. It is green and pink. Um, right now, I'm reading Dracula. And I am obsessed with this thing. I took it with me traveling. It was fabulous. Um, fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. That's all I seem to know how to say. But um, I was really hesitant about joining the e-reader community because I really am a sucker for holding my books and, you know, having them in my bookshelf when they're completed. But I decided, Justin and I talked about it, and I decided that I'm going to, you know, read whatever books I want on this and then if I am in love with them and want them on my bookshelf then I will buy a hard copy of them but anyways love my nook color my last favorite is my hair because I don't know if you can tell because I'm kind of in direct sunlight but um, I got low lights put into it because I'm getting married in October and I wanted my hair to look a little more natural so I went ahead and got it darkened up a little bit. After the wedding, I'm probably going to go a little bit more red. Um, my natural hair color is actually uh, kind of an auburn, light brown, auburnish type of color. It's down here. 
it's coming up actually really dark on camera. It's not that dark. But um, anyways, yeah, I'm loving my hair. It feels like it's a lot more healthy. It just looks better. It looks more natural, and I really love it. Now, I have a couple of honorable mentions, just like I did in my last post um, or video. But my future mother-in-law actually gave me this at um, my shower that I had a couple weekends ago. And it is the Avon Green Flash Quad. I love the packaging. It's so cute. It's reminiscent of Chanel. It has a big mirror inside, so I'm going to take it around everywhere with me. But this is what it looks like. It has a great green color, uh, a darker brown, a more medium brown, and then kind of a yellowish green highlight. I haven't used the yellowish green. I need to give it a try. But I adore these brown and browns and green colors. Brown and green colors? Anyway, uh, the green, since I've darkened my hair, is a great accent color for my eye. I have a little bit in the outer V, if you couldn't tell. And this is just fabulous. Um, I'm sure it will be showing up in my June favorite, so I wanted to give this little shout out and I wanted to just tell you how excited I am about this and I love it. The other honorable mention is that one of my oldest and dearest friends, one of my bridesmaids, uh, um, <laughs> I'm so excited, um, has created a blog and it is littlelouisiana.blogspot.com she just got started, so go give her some love, and I'm sure she's going to be coming out with some great posts. So, yay, Laura. I'm so glad that you are going to be blogging, and I can't wait to see what you write about. Anyways, uh, this is my May favorite, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, so I hope you have a great day. Ooh, there, there is eyeshadow all over my laptop now from when I dropped that palette. But anyways, uh... Looking forward to making my June favorites video. We're almost already we're already almost halfway through June, so it won't be too far away. Okay, bye.